Rapid HR Analytics in Microsoft Power BI. Welcome to the Overview tab. Here you can see an overview of the dashboard. On the top right, we can see our key metrics. We can find out more about the data by hovering above it. Click on the data to filter. Notice how this impacts the rest of the dashboard. At the top, we can see how our key metrics have changed. We can now see that the two employees filtered are based in Chicago. We can hone in to find out the hires by year and also highlight the employee count by department. Click again on the data point selected to reset the filter. Now we can see the unfiltered dashboard once more. Here we can see the gender overview tab. We can look at employee count by age band and gender, employee count by department and gender, hires by year and gender, average salary by gender, and gender distribution by ethnic background. We can use the filter on the left to sort by department. Here we have clicked on the sales filter. We can filter even further. Here we have clicked to filter by females. The data responds dynamically to any filter. This is the diversity tab. Again, we have our filters on the left. We can choose to look at employee count by location and ethnic background, average salary by ethnic background, employee count by disabilities, and employee count by ethnic background. This is the performance tab. Here we can choose to look at average and total sick leave per location, sickness cost by department, course completion, and average appraisal score by department. Our final tab is for talent management. Here we can see turnover, terminations by reasons for leaving, new hires by source, and time to hire by grade. Get in touch with marketing at roslinanalytics.com to find out more.